श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठी पति वंदे गुरुपद द्वंद भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदन मनु वाछा कल्पतर वश्य के पास सिंधु व्यवच पतितान पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुखति वाचा लंग पंगुंगैतगिरी यत्कि पातमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुचनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथोजय मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवग्नमीष्टूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचन तम शरण्यम भेत्ताह पुनत पाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारविंद यत्दपल्लवनखचंदमनीछटाय विस्फुरजीतकमुवधूशुदर्शी पूर्णागरसागर सारमूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कि <coughs> श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितर कमलायताक्ष भीषाबरो दिजवरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवित दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावान्ूपेन सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायण पियमनंगमदापहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भैवेशनाथ वागीशजस्वदने लक्ष्मीजस्वक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबीत सिंह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे जास्यास्ति भक्तिर भगवती अकिंचना सर्वगुण स्तत्र समासतेश्वरा हरो अवक्त शकुतो महदगुना मनोरथे न सतो धवतो वै यस्यास्ति भक्तिर भगवती अकिंचना सर्वगुण स्तत्र समासतेश्वरा हरो अवक्त शकुतो महदगुना मनोरथे न सतो धवतो वै गौरिय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी रघु प्रभुपाद गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी रघु प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैट बॉन्डेड सोल सो लॉन्ग कैन नॉट सी वन ब्राइट लाइटनिंग एग्जाम्पल इन फ्रंट ऑफ देम those bonded soul they cannot get any inspiration to do hari bhajan gauriya goshti bhakti sisila bhakti siddhanto saraswati goshami ra prabhupad paramahansa jagat guru said that gauriya goshti bhakti sisila bhakti siddhanto saraswati goshami ra prabhupad paramahansa jagat guru said that bonded souls they cannot feel any inspiration to do bhajan so long as they cannot see one bright lightning vivid example of bhagavad bhajan in front of them otherwise they cannot feel any inspiration in this material world we can see that without any lucrative offer we are not at all ready to give any any energy in any matter in this material world we can see there is any if there is any interest if there is any interest if there is any lucrative offer then we can do something otherwise we cannot do we cannot give energy but point is that in material world total judgment is separate material material things can give material things money can be get money money cannot be get bhakti any is a prakita jagat bhakti can beget bhakti if somebody asking why you are doing bhakti because i like to get bhakti if somebody asking why you are doing bhakti what is the reason the answer is that i like to get bhakti bhakta sanyataya bhaktya bibhati utpalakam tanu मयी भक्तिर ही भूतानम अमृत तय कल्पते आई नो यू कैन नॉट फील बट विथ योर आत्मा अमृत इज दे बट यू कैन आई नो यू कैन नॉट फील इन साइड योर आत्मा आई मीन द इन साइड योर स्वरूप अमृत इज दे यू कैन नॉट फील इंस्पिरेशन you cannot feel any enjoyment because you are deprived of maya that's why you cannot feel guru vaishnav they are going to best to keep on us day by day they are best to keep on us so that at least we can see our ultimate objective guru vishnu always trying to do something for us 
always doing something by speaking Harikatha, Kirtan, advice, prasadam giving. This way, ultimately, they like to show you what is that ultimate, what is that ultimate object. You try to look. This kind of Leela Mahaprabhu done. Mahaprabhu done in front of Rupa Goswami path. And Raghunath Das Goswami path practically told, Vairagya Yuga Bhakti Rasam Prayatnai Rapaya Yatmam Anuhipshu Mandham. I am, I am less interested, I am not willing. I am blind. But still, the great, my great master, divine master, Sanatan wanted to catch my vows, mouth and take one nectar. I was not ready to drink Amrita. But out of his causeless mercy, ocean, mercy, ocean of mercy, Sanatan Gusai. Raghunath Gusai speaking. I was not at all willing, less interested. But finally, he catch me and give me the test of nectar. You test it, you test it, just test it. Oh, so nice. Then, from then onwards, I cannot live. Popat also told same thing. Those who are going to get even the drop of that nectarian you know, thing, those who are going to get the taste of that Ananna Bhajan, those who are going to get the taste of Ananna Bhajan, they can never leave Hari Bhajan. Same thing or anything. Until and unless you are not going to get the taste of that Amrita, what you are going to get ultimately after leaving this body. Useless, this body useless. Useless body. If we can engage this body in Hari Bhajan, all the 24 hours, 24 hours, then it's okay. Otherwise, dog and cat, they can also run for enjoyment. What I can do? What is the difference between dog and cat and me? What is the difference between dog, cat, everything with me? But they are also running for enjoyment. I am also running. So long as there is any contamination of Enjoyment. So long as there is any contamination of enjoyment, mood inside my heart, till then there is no question of actual Hari Bhajan. No question of actual Hari Bhajan. That is the Siddhanta Vichar. People can cheat you, those who are preaching, but I cannot cheat you. That's why Prahlad Maharaj told, Jarhi eva manavaha tejanti kamano manasasthitano tarhi eva bhagavataya kalpate. What's speaking? Prahlad Maharaj said, Jarhi, jarhi eva manavaha tejanti kamano manasasthitano tarhi eva bhagavataya kalpate. The moment jiva is free from any material enjoying mood, instant, then and there, tarhi eva bhagavataya kalpate. He can get bhagavata, power of Bhagavan. Or I can explain also this way. Bhagavan is a prakita. Bhagavan is standing on that a prakita platform. And that jivatma also can be taken out of that platform. Chinmoy. Bhagavan is chinmoy. And also you can become chinmoy. And with this chinmoy body, then you can do it, Hari Bhajan. Matter cannot exchange their view with Chetan Vastu. If I ask, one stone is there, a roadside stone. 
If I ask something, can I give a response? If there is stone lying roadside, I ask something, cannot explain. But in a Prakita Jagat, a stone can give response. Shalgram Bhagavan can give response to me. Giriraj Maharaj can respond to me. Jamuna water can respond to me. Provided I am taken up to that position. Chetan can exchange view with Chetan Vastu. Matter cannot exchange view with. Bhagavan is Purna Chetan Vastu. The devotees are also Purna Chetan Vastu. But it, okay, they are in fit. They are, you know. Bhagavan is Purna Chetan Vastu. That's why when Bhagavan standing in a hill and playing on fruits, yeah, you know, then all the stone going to melt like wax. Wax you have seen? If you apply heat, it can melt. Bhagavan playing on the fruit, nothing to do with the stone. But the stone itself going to melt. Because and the river of Jamuna going to get solidified. That is the magic spell. I know you cannot feel now. But you will have to try your best to reach up to that point. If you like to destroy your bhajan life, if you like to destroy your, you know, free will power, if you like to enter into the category of inanimate object, then you can do whatever you like. But I would suggest you to run this way. Otherwise, there is no alternative way. No alternative way open before us. Those who are Nitya Siddha, they are those who are Sadhan Siddha, they also of same category. They can also say, the same thing becomes a soul. It's really strange. Even after Guru Bargo giving so much blood, so much blood, immense, gallons of blood, still we cannot realize that absolute truth. Absolute truth is always there, eternally present. If the situation permit in my life, I mean if I am qualified, I can see that absolute truth. Or I cannot see that absolute truth if I am not qualified. That doesn't mean absolute truth is not there. I cannot see, I cannot feel. So absolute truth is not there, it cannot so happen. It cannot so happen. Absolute truth is eternally present. You can see, cannot see, it depends upon your position. In which position you are put into. Sun God is there, but if some dark cloud going to cover up the Sun God and some foolish idiot going to shout, no, Sun God is not there, Sun God is that foolish. Your shouting is like providing one fist of fury in the, on the sky. But if Sun God is there, Sun God is not there. Sun God is not there. Sun God is there. But your eyes is covered up with cloud. A, a small piece of cloud can cover up your eyes. But the small piece of cloud surely cannot cover up the sun god. Because sun god is eh, 14 lakhs time bigger than this earth. 14 lakhs. Chaudya Laksha. 14 lakhs time bigger than the size of this earth. This art is just like a dust particle. When you go to Mars or go to some other planets, you can see it's just like dust particle. You cannot see where is art. And there, now you try to conceive, try to realize your own stand position. 
What is your identity? With this body, with this mind, you like to fall sick. Oh, I can do. I can do. He can do. I can see what a man you are like. This is a challenging mood. Very, very easy. If somebody asking, what is the easiest job in the world, in this whole universe? If somebody asking me, Maharaj, you tell me what is the easiest job in the world? I would say, to get Bhagavan. So easy, yes. But why then uh, nobody can get? Only reason that they cannot live their false ego. They cannot become Trinodabhi. All they can show. They can show their heroism. Yes, I have some money. They can show. They can show their heroism, but only their failure in one point. That is, they cannot show Trinodabhi. They cannot show Trinodabhi. The easiest job is to do Hari Bhajan. The easiest job in this infinite universe is to do Hari Bhajan. Why so? Because Prabhupada many times told, Hari Bhajan is a natural function of his soul. Now you are taken into abnormal position. You are now abnormal, abnormal position. Like ghost entering, what Chaitanya Chaitanya is speaking, Pishachi Paile Yatha Nati Channa Hoy, Maya Bhadda Jivera Hoy Sevab. Pishachi Paile Yatha Nati Channa Hoy, Maya Bhadda Jivera Hoy Sevab. When ghost entering into you, into your body, and it's going to overpower, going to cover up your consciousness, and going to do its own act going to fulfill his personal interest. So, if somebody asking me, what is the easiest thing in the world, in the in, oh, infinite universe? Prakita na prakita. Hari Bhajan is the easiest thing, easiest procedure, nothing so easy than Hari Bhajan. Only we will have to leave all false ego and Hari Bhajan. But that we cannot do. I told you, you know, about Bhakti Vinod Thakur yesterday, how humble, how humble, thinking I am nothing, always crying and praying to Bhagavan. Kabe habe balo sedino ya amar dhano janwar kovita sundari bali bona chahi deho shukho kori janme janme prabhu deho gauro hori Ahetu ki bhakti charane tomar kabe hove valo sedino yam. When I can develop that kind of golden opportunity, when I can get this kind of opportunity, when this kind of thing, when I can chant Harinam and get absorbed in the nectarian ocean, the last slok I told you when I just studied, Bhakti went to the road, that is the last. That is the last. He is going to indicate us. That was the last law by the help of which last moment he wanted to indicate his own mood. Suro sarid upakante godrume gauru tirthe basati si suro vikanje bhakti purvam vinadha jugala charana shaksha lava saya asu brajo raso rasi kaya Pada Padma Sraye Atro. Atro means here. Here I am sitting in Godrum. Bhashiya Bhakati Vinod Ehi Asani Bhakati Vinod Ehi Asakuri Bhashiya Godrum Bane. When you can sing this Kirtan, when you can make up your time to do Kirtan, when, when? Life is going. You are playing. When you can get this kind of gold? get absorbed. Bhakti Muttaka writing. Atro, Atro, Atro means here, in this Godrum Kanan, at the bank of Saraswati, Suro Sarit Upaganthe, Suro Dhani, Ganga Upaganthe, at the bank, I am sitting, with a great hope, with absolute hope, 
to get the chance to serve that divine couple. Jugal Sarkar, Radha Govindaji. Try to erase the conception of man and woman. Try to erase from your life. Try to erase the conception of man and woman from your life. Then you can realize who is Radha, Srimati Radharani, who is Govindo. Those Sahaji Acharyas, those Sahaji Acharyas, they can misguide you, I know. I know those Sahaji Acharyas, they can misguide you. But it is my request unto a lotus feet of all devotees and non-devotees, those who are still not devotees, going to become devotees. They don't hear, don't hear any wrong conception, wrong Siddhanta. You try to, I know you cannot like me. I know surely, I could easily collect billions of dollars, very easily, this way. You are giving so much energy to earn money, but I could very easily, this way, but I am not doing. You are blind, you cannot see my heart. You cannot see my heart. You cannot see my sacrifice. That I am going to challenge my life. Life risks. You cannot see anything. You are so blind. You cannot see. You only can see, I am speaking very heavy. That's why you like to avoid me. You are not avoiding me. You are avoiding the Prabhupada. You are avoiding Sri Gauranga Nityananda. You are not avoiding me. If you avoid me, be sure you are going to avoid Srila Bhakti Pumat Puri Goswami Maharaj, Srila Kesu Goswami Maharaj, Prabhupada. Be sure about it. Be sure 100%. You avoid me, okay, no problem. You can point out this point. Massive. So that people can hear. At least I want. I don't want anything. At least they can understand my heart. How much I am trying to change the wrong conception of this devotional field. If I have my audacity, then I can fall down. I have no audacity. I depend upon that Tinadu Viva. Because without which I cannot speak any Harikatha. This is the condition set by Mahaprabhu. If really I am popped up, false ego, then you can see my activities. The only activities you are watching, I am speaking heavy. But all other related to that, I am speaking heavy, I have audacity, I am going for, for money, position, everything, but that you cannot discover. Why you are so foolish? Whenever you like to detect something, you will have to match all the symptoms. You can find only one thing, that I am speaking heavy. But it is the condition set by Mahaprabhu. Without Tinadapi, nobody can speak Harikatha. Tinadapi sunicheno, tararupi sahishnuna, amanina manadino kirtaniya sadhavari. But you forget this point. If Parambhaya Kesha Goswami Maharaj is going to forget this Tinadavi, how it is possible for Kesha Goswami Maharaj to speak so Harikatha? If Santo Goswami Maharaj is going to forget his own position, become part of so he is speaking heavy, then how is it possible for him to write that type of Kirtan? How possible this type of Kirtan? Guru Dev Daya Mai, Guru Dev Daya Mai. Who wrote? Santu Goswami Mai. Irrespective of caste and, you know, what is called particular, everywhere they are bound to sing this song. How he wrote? Without direct feeling, how he wrote? Without direct feeling, how I am speaking this way? Do you think I am doing some rehearsal night time, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock? After that morning time I am coming? Do you think so? 
When I complete my harikatha, I come no time. No, even not drinking water. I have no time. I can go and then can drink water. Doctor speaking, you will have to drink water, sufficient. Doctor foolish. How I can drink water? When I can drink? Now in morning time, after coming, I run here. After that, I can complete here, then go, then I can drink. By that time, I am too late, doctor speaking. But I have nothing to do. Really, I am very sorry. I want to give what Prabhupada wanted to give, what Guru Bhargu wanted to give. Nothing my personal. You cannot show even a single thing which is manufactured or mentally concocted by me. If you can prove, I can leave Harikatha and go away. I promise it in written condition. I can go away. I cannot speak Harikatha. You can find some other personality, Siksha Guru, this, that. Also, they can speak. So, today is a Tirabhav. I mean, Haridas Thakur Nirjan. How much love? Bhagavan can have with his devotees. That is inconceivable, beyond human comprehension. In material love, in material world, slight love shown by somebody, I become captivated. Oh, he is showing love, he loves me. But you have no idea. Bhagavan is infinity ocean of love and beauty. One drop, Mahaprabhu wanted to give in the tongue of Rupa Goswami. Rupa, you just taste it. Wow, what it looks like. Just taste. And that nectar, one drop, can inundate the whole world. That is confirmed. That is confirmed in Shastra. That one drop of this kind of nectar, what Mahaprabhu wanted to give us, can inundate, inundate the whole world. But we are less interested. One drop. Really strange. Whole world is flooded with prema. But that prema not going to touch my heart. I am material like stone. Like Bajra, thunderbolt, my heart, not melting. This is a condition. How much love Bhagavan have for us all jivas. So, to realize it, you can see the loveful exchange between Mahaprabhu, Sanatan. Loveful exchange between Rupa Goswami Path, Sanatan, Rupa Goswami Path, and Sanatan Goswami Path. Loveful exchange between Rupa and Mahaprabhu. Loveful exchange between Haridas Thakur and Mahaprabhu. That you will have to go. So, daily recitation of Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat is a must. I don't like to hear any kind of argument. I am busy, I am busy, this. I am less interested. Because this is the last medicine, Koramin. When patient is at the last, you know, doorstep, as last, then doctor applying some last medicine. It, it, it can work or cannot work. So, I am less interested to hear any argument. I am busy this, that. You will have to do. Chaitanya Bhagavad, you will have to do. Harinam. Kirtan, Chaitanya Bhagavad, that you will have to do. You will have to curtail your daily schedule, like sleeping 12 hours or 8 hours, 9 hours, that you will have to cut. I am not going to hear anything. Sufficient protein, vitamin coming in your life, even through Harikatha you are getting aprakita protein and vitamin, so you cannot suffer due to Malnourishment. I cannot expect. So Haridas Thakur crying when Mahaprabhu going to Nilachal. Haridas Thakur bursted into tears and asking Prabhu, "You going to Nilachal? Then what is my condition? Eh? What I can do?" 
I can also die. Prabhu speaking, don't cry. I can take you, Nilachal. I can take you to Nilachal to stay with me. So you don't cry. Or you are thinking, you going to Nilachal, then you are not thinking about me, what I can do. Prabhu speaking, don't worry, I can take you in Nilachal. Really so. Haridas Thakur speaking, how I can stay with you inside Gambira Mandir? I am prohibited, I am Muslim, fallen soul. Prabhu speaking well. You can stay in I Tota. I tota. There is one place near Gambira Mandir. You can stay here and do Harinam. Every day I can come. Haridas Thakur is so pure that Mahaprabhu can take dust particle from the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur. Mahaprabhu himself told, when Mahaprabhu like to embrace Haridas, Haridas like going, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't, don't touch me. Your Shastra going to prohibit you. Shastra going to prohibit you to touch me. Don't touch me. Prabhu speaking, I myself, for my own benefit, like to touch you. I myself, for my, for my personal benefit, I like to touch you. Prabhu kahe tomas porsi pavitra haite, tomar pavitra gun nahi ko amate. That pure quality is there inside you. I like to get it inside me. So I am touching you. So why you worry? Prabhu shouting, I see all devotees there, but where is Haridas? I see, I see all devotees there, but where is Haridas? You call Haridas. Wow, oh, so many devotees running outside get. Har Haridas Thakur lying on the road, road. Pray, prostrate don't do all. Haridas, Haridas, Haridas Prabhu, Mahaprabhu calling you. Come, come quickly. No, no, no. I cannot go inside. I cannot go inside. I cannot go. I can touch with all other devotees. I cannot. You, you, you request Prabhu. I can take some prasadam. Somehow after Vaishnavas are taking. You see the humbleness. We are learning false ego from Haridas Thakur. And acting as world famous Acharya. We are learning. We are learning from Haridas Thakur, na? Sanatana Goswami, Haridas Thakur. We are learning this kind of false ego. We gone through Chaitanya Chaitanya. That's why. We are so false ego. We are from coming. We are from I am putting question. Anybody there, they can come and give answer to me. They can give to me. Haridas Thakur crying and speaking, you request Prabhu. I have no right to go inside. Never mind. They come back. They say, Prabhu, Haridas Thakur don't like to come here because he thinks he is a fallen, so he can touch with. Cannot, don't like to come. Okay, okay, okay. Prabhu not going to break the rules and regulations. Try to understand this Siddhanta Vichar. Internally, internally, Prabhupada, internally, Mahaprabhu going to going to put Haridas inside his heart. Internally, Mahaprabhu is going to put Haridas Thakur inside his heart. He cannot forget Haridas. But externally, he is not going to break the rules and regulations. Because externally going to break rules and regulations, everybody can say, Oh, Mahaprabhu already do, I can also break. The same thing our Parmi Siddhar Goswami has told. Don't allow each and everybody inside deity temples. Don't allow each and everybody inside kitchen room. Don't allow each and everybody in Vyasasana. Who is going to obey? Who is going to obey? Who is going to obey? Nobody is going to obey. Nobody is going to obey. One foreign devotee was there of Parmesan Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. 
He used to sing Kirtan in such a way, I like to take dust particle from his lotus feet, but he gone. Some reason is there, he was gone. So nice Kirtan, but you can find the recorder, recording, so nice. During Kirtan, he used to do Kirtan and fall down on ground. So nice Kirtan. So Haridas Thakur, anyway, there is some special place, there is some special place of Haridas Thakur inside the heart of Sri Gauranga Deva, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. But externally, Mahaprabhu is not going to break any rules and regulations. Otherwise, the material world, those who are smart or so-called devotees, they can also break. Hey, Mahaprabhu told so again. I can explain during the time of Kartik Brata how Mahaprabhu is going to give ba keep balance. Keep balance. Hello. So, Haridas Thakur was allowed to stay in a Bhajan Kutur just near Gambira Mandir and it was the standing commitment of Mahaprabhu that each and every day, you need not go anywhere, I can come every day and come to you, to meet with you. Really so. Up to the last moment of Haridas Thakur, that commitment was not broken by Mahaprabhu. Not broken. So, Haridas Thakur, doing three lakh sarinam, paying dandavat to Guru Vaishnava, staying in a bhajan kutir, and our Rupa Goswami Path, Sanatana Goswami Path, those who think themselves fallen, they used to stay whenever any one of them used to go there. In Nilachal, they used to stay with Haridas Thakur. They used to stay with Haridas Thakur. Rupa Goswami Path or Sanatana Goswami whenever they are going. And every day Mahaprabhu coming to give the darshan to him. And that Sanatana Goswami Path, someday Haridas Thakur speaking, you are really lucky. All your, you know, your lineage, heritage, all lucky. Because your total, you know, Rup, Sanatanji, all giving place in Vrindavan. You are very lucky. You are given the most important seva, the most important seva of establishing Siddhanta Vichar. Of establishing Siddhanta Vichar. So, on different pilgrimage, not visible at present to discover the right and establish right Siddhantas, Rasatattva, everything. But our Sunatan Gusai is speaking, don't speak that way. Actually, you are the luckiest personality. Actually, you are the luckiest of all. Parshat of Gauranga. Why? That time, Sanatana Gusai told, Achar kare keho na kare prachar, Pochar kare keho na kare achar, Achar pochar na mer karo dui karjo, Tumi sarva guru, tumi sarva jagatir arjo. The book is almost complete, due to, almost complete. I can edit it very quickly, or maybe we can publish the whole book, or first of all, we can go on publishing one by one article relevant, related to that question by that idiot. Today is the answer of one question here. He, that idiot going to put question, why Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur wanted to adopt this kind of new uh, procedure of, you know, bhajan? He is asking. One answer, one of the many answers I give, one answer out of that. You idiot, staying at the bank of Kundo, 
I know you are staying at the bank of Kundo, Narak Kundo, not Radha Kundo. That's why I don't utter this name Radha Kundo. I only say Kundo to get excuse of this offense. Follow. So you, what, what is your idea? Simon Mahaprabhu, right from taking birth, started preaching. Wow, wow, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, stop. He did it in Chaitanya. Mahaprabhu, whole life doing Nam Sankita, everything preaching. Mahaprabhu, throughout, uh, in the pretext of South Indian tour, going to deliver thousands of fallen souls. Mahaprabhu, in the pretext of going to, uh, you know, Vrindavan through Jhari Kanda, going to best to keep our own animals, insects, and you know. But you have no idea. You have no idea. You think you can put Radha Kunda Tilak and you can become gopi? You think so? You can put Radha Kunda Tilak and you can become gopi? You think so? So easy. Our Sanatana Goswami used to, our, our, our Santu Goswami used to say, you come to me, overnight I can make you gopi. I know the procedure. I can give you gopi. He used to speak all openly, slag language. Hey, man, you come to me. <laughs> I like something. You used to love me. So much love. So, this way, this way, if you see, that this is one kind of Siddhanta. I already started writing last night, this Siddhanta. I remember. This is a missile for that devotees. You think you are near and dear one Sanatan, they are staying in Binda. Hey, they never use red cloth. Rascal. Hey, idiot. Fallen soul can do this way. You see the instruction of Sanatan Goswami Pad to Haridas Thakur. If Sanatan Goswami Pad is against preaching, then why speaking this way? Some of them going to follow rules and regulations, achar. Some of them only going to preach, not acharan. No backing of acharan. Whereas you are doing both. Sanatana so speaking to Haridas, whereas you are doing both, acharan and prachar. So, O oh, Sahajiya, you can specially put this number and give to me, I can space a safe, special note fast. First of all, I can so that he cannot sleep in the night time. Follow. First of all, if you give me, I can write some note. After that, I can start giving medicine. So, Sunatana Goswami in favor of preaching. Haridas Thakur in favor of preaching. Why? Haridas Thakur himself speaking. If Mahaprabhu asking, about the glorification of Harinam, Haridas Thakur going to, I have no time to discuss. I have to ask, discuss about my Shiksha Guru. No time. So, <coughs> this way, actually, Mahaprabhu whole life preaching, Sunatun Goswami, Rupa Goswami Path, if they are at all against me. Haridas Thakur speaking, if we chant loudly, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 then hold in a stavar jangam. Those are animate and inanimate objects. They all can get benefit. If Haridas Thakur is against preaching, why is Haridasthakur giving argument to Mahaprabhu? <coughs> when you are doing Harinam, Hare Krishna, Hare, then your sound propagating all around the world. This is supporting the latest, uh, you know, sound technology. What we are hearing, mobile, tower. Same thing Haridas Chakur told 5,500 years back. Hey, 500 years back. Haridas Chakur speaking. When you are speaking Harinam, then all your sign proposition going all around the world and touch all, yeah, they are going to purify. Follow. So, if Haridas Thakur against preaching, if Sanatana Goswami is Rupa Goswami is preaching, if Mahaprabhu is against preaching, then 
How you can pass this kind of remark? You should bow down unto a lotus feet of the Prabhupada for infinity period, infinity world. Can bow unto a lotus feet of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Because he wanted to express endless mercy to us by the help of preaching, chanting, writing. But you are going to think him enemy. That is your advantage. That is your privilege. So, this way I can go on speaking about and the last time when Mahaprabhu coming to meet with Haridas, last moment, moment, no? last previous day. Haridas, how are you? I am okay, but my mind is not good. What is good? Asusta buddhi mon. Why, why? I cannot complete my Harinam. Oh, Harinam, you are Siddha Mahatma. I, what is the utility? No, you need not do so much Harinam. Why you are going to so interest in doing Harina? Actually, you are Nama Charjo, na? You are actually Nama Charjo. So, I know you are going to show the idealism. But you need not do. You are Siddha Mahatma. Prabhu, I think you are going to withdraw your Leela. So, I don't like to see this Leela. Antaddhan Leela, please you promise me. You cannot show me. You will have to take me away much before. What do you say? What do you say? How I can live with, without you? Mahaprabhu said, how I can live without you? You like to go away living me? Prabhu, don't like to cheat me. In infinity world, such insect like me is there. What is the... What is your loss? What, what you can... What will go and come? If I... If you take me away, you promise me. Then Mahaprabhu speaking, maybe uh, Krishna Bharadaya Mai. Krishna is very merciful. So I think Krishna can fulfill your heart. Just the next day, I mean the last moment, Mahaprabhu coming and watching Haridas lying on the ground and doing Hari Krishna. Then Mahaprabhu coming. Then Haridas Thakur, I am going to cut short, no time. Going to set the lotus feet on the chest. Mahaprabhu told that the last moment I to pronounce your name, I like to see your Amrita, my face. I like to see you. And I can take your lotus feet on my chest. This is my last craving, this is my last craving prayer to you. To fulfill or not to fulfill, that's up to you. Now it's up to you. Then Haridas Thakur lying and taking the lotus feet of Gauranga on chest. And after the looking, without any twinkling, without any twinkling, looking at the lotus mouth of Gauranga, then see Krishna Chaitanya, left body. After living body, whole Vaishnava Sama now, oh, they started crying. And Mahaprabhu bursted into tears. And Mahaprabhu speaking, it is just like we can remember the Leela of Bhishma, Pitama Bhishma, who wanted to live body according to his own desire. The same thing we find. Now Mahaprabhu taking preparation, taking the body in the lap and dancing and you know making one making one chariot, I mean through which they are going up to that place, at present where you can see that Samadhi, Mapu himself digging Bali, sand, and making Samadhi, ultimately, first of all, going to wash the body of Haridas Thakur in the ocean, and giving warning to ocean, declaration, O oh, ocean! Today you are going to become the topmost pilgrimage because you are washing the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur. You are pure now. Now we are going to put Haridas Thakur inside the cavity. After that giving, you know, shedding tears, continuously giving shan, 
all devotees, after that he himself is going to beg for some Mahaprasad Bhikkha. Going to put one, I beg for some Mahaprasadam for my Haridas. I have no penny, you please give me. Then all Panda, they are going to give all. Then, then our Sarup Gosai, Sarup Dhamada, all guys, Prabhu, hey! Don't tell me. Prabhu, you go. It is our seva. No, it's my seva. No, you go. After that, all Panda are going to give all prasadam, all devotees are going to carry up to the spot where Mahaprabhu make. Yes, Mahaprabhu, where Mahaprabhu going to, where Mahaprabhu going to distribute prasadam. He himself in prasadam. And going to declare, Haridas, who is going to participate, participate in this function. Those who are going to give sand, those who are going to sing kirtan, and you know, those who are going to take prasadam, anyhow, somehow, if they are related with this function, they can get a param path, absolute, this is my blessing to you all. So, today we are going to participate in the function, so also we can expect this kind of benefit. Or Mahaprabhu told, because Mahaprabhu is beyond any time, space and matter. Mahaprabhu cannot say, you take birth now. So irrespective of time, space and matter, I can also deserve. So today is the uh, Tirabhaptiti of Sila, my Shiksha Guru, Sila Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj, who is a milestone, who is really a milestone of idealism in the way of our Saraswat Gauriya Bhajan. You can, you can obey or cannot obey. Fact is fact. Just in the beginning I told, absolute truth is absolute truth. Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj is one kind of idealism in front of us. This kind of character, this kind of behavior, this kind of seva mood, we never saw. My Guru Mahaj used to love him so much. All Guru Bhargava, they used to love Bharati Maharaj because you find intuition of Prakita Vichar, how to do Guru Vishnu Seva. That's the technique. He told me, devotees, they thinking, they are, I, I am a very, very big learned man. But they don't know. I have not gone through Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, nothing. Only I gone through this procedure of Seva, Seva Paddhati. And I attended so many Gauriya Guru Varga, those who wanted to bestow me full from heart. Be it Bhakti Pramapuri Goswami be it Kesav Goswami be it Siddhar Goswami who not, everybody. They used to best to keep on him. All the time. Siddhar Goswami used to select him. He is the right personality. Who is the topmost Brahman? Brahmin, Bharadraj Brahman. But at the same time, never wanted to express any falsehood. Some Leela expressed, and Madhav Goswami Maharaj uh, expressed some Leela of rectification. Is one kind of Leela. He gone to Parikram, everybody taking prasadam, he is not taking because he is from a low caste. Then our Madhav Goswami Maharaj singing Kirtan. Shapacha grihe te mangiya khaibo piva saraswati jal. The kirtan of Bhakti Mithak. We can beg, alarm. I used to do from a low caste, everything from Vrindavan. Brahmin family usually, after that I could realize they are all pure. Shapacha grihe te mangiya khaibo piva saraswati jal. So, he is from a very, very high class, Bharadraj Brahman family. While taking prasadam, if somebody calling him, then Maharaj told, that was our general practice, we used to stop taking prasadam, because it touched me. I am taking prasadam. By chance, somebody outside, calling me, 
by name. Hey, Prabhu, hey, by name. Then it was our general practice. We used to stop prasad. Now we cannot take. Cannot take prasad. This kind of purity. We are very lucky that we are going to get this kind of Shiksha Guru. A Guru Maharaj pointed out, if I go away, no problem. If I go away, no problem. You can get the association of Srila Bharti Maharaj. He loves you very much. Really so. It is His Highness that used to love me. I have no such quality so that I can proclaim or demand, oh, he used to love me. So I am a big monkey. I cannot say that. It is his privilege. It is his, you know, highness. They used to love me. Whenever I used to write so many protests and everything by the order of Guru Varga, I mean, Siksha Guru, I used to consult him, Maharaj. Never, never, never. He changed one single word in my writing. He never told, this is wrong, he rectified. Never. He changed any Siddhanta. On the contrary, at the bank of Giriraj Govardhan, one Tirtha Ashram, some devotee, I mean the disciple of Tirtha Goswami, I mean, while doing Parikram, I took all papers to check up, to get it checked up, you know, by, I went there. Bharati was sitting alone. Nobody there. Nobody was just that ashram just made. No, all broken, all around. Bharati was sitting in the veranda and, and seeking. Okay, you can go on reading. I'm hearing. After hearing, he becomes so happy. Even he declared in front of Prabhupada Vigraha in Abhirva place. That particularly that year, I was not there. I heard from one sannyasi, he is also living. He told Bharati Mahi, openly speaking, you can go through all the writings of Sam Baba. His bhakti you can get because he is not quoting anything personal. But all other so called devotees, why he is writing this way? He is Vaishnava offense. Yes, I am Vaishnava offense doing. Because I like to speak more and more Harikatha. That's why I like to do Vaishnava offense. He told personally, even one single dot, full stop, I am not changing. He told, oh my God, it is the duty of one Acharya. Yesterday also I told, Bhakti Muttag instruction, it is the duty of one Acharya to protest whatever malpractice going on, whatever wrong things, Siddhanta, so, Dr. Baba, those Acharyas, they are not going to do their duty. That's why I speak heavy. Somebody can say, why are you speaking this way? I'm speaking this way. They are going to, they are going to ignore their duty. They are going to ignore their duty. It is strictly prohibited. Bhakti Mahatma told, Bhakti Mahatma also told, well, this is the duty of an Acharya, great. Bhagavan allow you to do this seva. Bhagavan allow you to do this seva. How miracle? A duty, all acharyas, they can write. They can write and stop this kind of... Up to now, against... Up to now, nobody going against my... Any protest note or any protest book, booklet, nobody. Up to now. Barbal is one or two coming, but after that, they keep silence. Barbal, why yeah, God? After that, stop. They're not coming to me. Because they know Baba speaking absolute. It is only Bharti Maharaj. I am ever grateful to him. If I ignore, I can get destroyed. He is the only one. He wanted to give me inspiration. Today, in the open assembly, I feel shy. I'm sitting backside. Today, uh, now, our Sam Baba can speak Harikatha in front of you. In Jalandar, here, there. This way. Not only that, I was shocked to see his love and attraction for me. Today we are getting our Sam Baba with me, speaking this way. Nobody else only. 
all expressing jealousy. Why are you coming? Is the standing instruction of Bhakti Vala Titta Goswami Maharaj. Standing instruction. But if you don't allow, don't allow. Okay, that is your that is your privilege. You like to destroy your society. I like. Bharati Ma used to give me inspiration. Speak Harikatha. Speak Harikatha. I am ever grateful. If I go on speaking about him, endless glories, but time cannot permit, I will have to run again. So I am very sorry to stop. The first sloka I could not explain. It takes a long time. Anyway, indirectly already explained. Jyasyasti bhaktira bhagavatiya kinchana sarabhagunai satra sama sate suraha harau abhakta shakuto mahadaguna manorathe nasato dhavato vai vanchakalpato sikhe pasindh vai patitanang pavane vaishna bhyona Shishidhanta saraspati vijayate gauriya goshti